Hey guys, and welcome to the 20th episode of my Livecom series. Um, today I will be discussing the beta in um, Dungeoneering, or the combat rework in general in Dungeoneering. Obviously it's going to have many effects on Dungeoneering, since a lot of Dungeoneering is based on combat. And while I'm discussing this, I will be killing the Calphite Queen. Now, if you see my video for the um, Tormented Demons yesterday, you'll notice that I'm in a very, very similar setup. Because gen now, you I think... I, f I think that key Q, you can't hit through prayer. This is what I've heard. So, and I've actually been, and I wasn't sure. I was switching anyway, because I normally switch it to uh, a Calpha Green, but I don't think you can hit through prayer now. Like before, you could use, like, you could carry on using a God Sword or your Chaotix for the second form and still be able to hit, but now I know you can't, or I think you can't. So I'm using the same switch that I use at Tormented Demons, and I've only changed one thing on my action bar, and that's that I've added Frenzy here, instead of Massacre. Now, I've got this open on Regenerate automatically, so that I can heal if I've got any spare adrenaline, but most likely I'll be keeping that up, so that I can actually um, start with an ultimate in the fight, but or possibly not start with an ultimate, because I think, I think ultimating the second phase is better. Also, another thing to know about the KQ, no, no, I do not want to teleport to the Glacial Cave. That's where I want to go to. Um, yeah, they've also increased the spawn rate. Now, they've done this with a lot of creatures because obviously you can kill them at different rates now. You might be able to kill them slower, you might be killing them faster in some creatures. So, it's not just Catholic Queen that have actually changed. Like, there's many Slayer monsters in RuneScape that have probably changed like the um, spawn times of. And also, this, it's going to be a massive change. I mean... I miss, like if you remember that, um, but if you remember the botany, they did like a Slayer event on one of the days where you got triple Slayer XP, and one thing they did was make the uh, make the spawn rates almost instant. Like you'd you'd kill a Steel Dragon in Kurodel's dungeon, and it'd literally be two seconds before it spawned. Now that's probably a bit over the top, but we are going to be. I uh, hope that we're going to be seeing spawn rates not not too dissimilar to that, because that was awesome and it really made it more. Um, entertaining a slay rather than sitting there waiting for freaking spawns you know what I mean anyway I am in a world of like 200 people in and the bit was the bit as well so we're under 500 people now let's hope it's not too um, full I'd quite like it to be solo but it seems like there was people killing stuff here because um, there was a few drops on the floor let's hope this is not taken uh, oh great run run out oh yes it's not taken what a win God, I hate running out of run. It's so annoying. Right, there we go. Let's get the abilities underway. Oh, I was going to bring um, Spectre Covers and I forgot. That's not good. Let's get that on. Oh, there goes my phone. That's a, that's a while since that's happened on a video. Not going to lie. It has actually been ages. Let's dismember. You see, I think... A lot of it in PvP is based on tactics. Now, I really do like the PV the, um, the drop system, um, this new combat system. I'll go on to DG in a sec. It's the one place I don't actually like it. For some reason in DG, I just... I don't know. I just... I liked DG before. It was obviously... DG is one of my most favourite things to do in RuneScape. So that's probably one of the main reasons that I don't want to see it change. Because I like it so much. But I haven't... Yeah, done too much. I have done a little bit of engineering to try it out, but I haven't done like a total amount. And one thing that I've really noticed is that things hit through press so often, and that's definitely going to change it up quite a lot, in my opinion. Because at the minute, like, I know when I'm suiciding, I know it's easy to survive. I need to switch press here. And let's use this ultimate. Now, let's see if I can one hit this phase then. Yawn. I almost one hit it. That was. <laughs> you see how ridiculously overpowered these ultimates are on KQ. I've survived on a unicorn right now, on a solo, and that's pretty good compared to what it was before. But again, I don't think it'd be too surprising if they did make KQ weaker, because KQ before is it, it, it's it's kind of a low level boss, but um, it's kind of always been a decent. Decently damaging monster, I mean, it hits quite a lot, I'm not going to lie. It's quite a powerful boss, in the way that it's, it's so accurate with its attacks. Like, right now, it doesn't really seem like it was that accurate, I mean... Where's my unicorn? Where's my unicorn? I need a heal. But they've really made it, I think they've made it, like, um... I, 
either it's intended to be weaker or what, I'm not sure, but obviously a lot of things still need balancing. But to get back to DG, the fact that um, stuff is um, hitting through prayer now is quite annoying. Now, I know if I was trying to survive um, when I'm suiciding, if I'm like 100 HP, I can normally just run for a room, mage prayer and not get hit. Obviously it's a bit of a different HP now, but I know that now I can just die. No matter what, I've still got that chance of dying. So, that puts me off a little bit, but I haven't done too much of it. I'll have to look into that in the future. Maybe it's just a glitch at the hit through prayer, I'm not sure. And one thing I'm definitely hoping for is that the Forgotten Mages don't hit through prayer. Um, don't bind you through prayer, because at the minute, if you don't pray in Dungeoneering against the Forgotten Mages, they have the opportunity to bind you, and they bind you for a long time. The time is based on your level, currently. Um, you see the amount of workers here, holy shit. So many of them, and normally you can just go around one hitting them, which is quite fun. Now, as you can see, it takes a couple more hits. They are level. You see, that was a pre that wasn't obviously the fastest spawn ever, but you get the idea that it's um it's a lot faster. Because before, I'd have been waiting a lot longer than I just did, and I just owned that first phase, didn't I? See how ridiculous these ultimates are against KQ. It is insane. Now. I'm thinking personally that DG is faster now with the um, combat rework. Whether the floor XP has changed, we'll have to see. Um, we can only see in the future what it actually is. Because I haven't actually like done too many floors to really notice. But obviously, I think the combat rework is definitely going to speed it up, in my opinion. Because of just the simple fact that... Um, you can clear rooms GDs a lot faster. If you're working as a team properly, you will be able to clear them faster. Some of the um, abilities are so powerful. Oh, is this a clue? Hard clue. What? Come on. Did it... That one just died over there. Magic. Magic. I can't... I've lost my track of thought now. Um, if you're killing GDs faster, you're going to be completing force faster. And that means faster XP, unless they've changed it. I'm sure they want to keep it balanced. A lot of the things they've kind of tried to aim at keeping it the same XP rate as it is in game currently. That is what they're trying to aim for. Like if you go, if you look at Slayer, now a lot of people are complaining Slayer slow. Well, come on guys, there's there's three months for beta left, more possibly, as long as it needs to get the game sorted. They're not going to release it into the actual game until it's perfect. That's why they're doing the beta so that we can get all the feedback and make sure everything's balanced. Because can you imagine the workload the GMs have had to get? I mean, just simple, just DG alone. I mean. The amount of creatures in DG. There's the amount of bosses in DG. I mean, there's more bosses in DG than outside of DG. <laughs> that, uh, and that sounds ridiculous to me. Um, that there's more there. But there is a lot, and it, that's surely a lot of work. I mean, it mustn't have been an. It mustn't have been a short job. Giving restarting all the um, NPCs. Just think of all the armors in Dungeon There's range armors, mage armors, and um, melee armors, all the way up to tier 11. Plus the extra bonus items that you can get there, I mean, just restyling all that is insane. And to get it perfectly balanced first go, that, that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, that's just impossible, isn't it? I'm, I don't think you have to charge overload up anymore. They have obviously changed the way it works. Ooh, did you see that critical hit? I think I did last, oh no I didn't. Oh, this is ridiculous. How easy I can get this, look, hardly. I love the way that it's spawning fast now though. I mean... Obviously my world's only 200 people. If this was like a full world of 200, um, 2000 even, can you imagine the spawn rate? It'd actually be decent. Oh god, I was not going to use that in KQ, no. Let's use rapid fire, come on. This is one slings loads of shots at it. Similar to unload to be honest, but obviously weaker. And it's threshold. You see these abilities are just wrecking, them sh wrecking KQ to shreds. The fact that I'm using like just a unicorn to solo is pretty impressive compared before you're going through brews quite quickly. It's pretty awesome. And going back to DG, personally, as I said, I wish it was being the same. I'm going to obviously try a lot more, and I might do a video on DG, just doing like a large floor, so that you can see what it's like. I mean, one of the my problems with DG at the minute, um, I need to keep this ability bar up, and... Currently, I'm not going to manage that if I don't stay in combat. Um, one of my problems is that the ability bars are so small. Now, you might, I've mentioned this yesterday that 
well, 12 spaces might look like quite a lot. But in terms of engineering, when you think, like, obviously I've been in, and by the time you've got your home teleport, tell it your group telly, tell it your own gate zone, create your own gate zone, that's four slots. And if you consider the fact that I've got a hex and melee weapon, that is two sets of, um, that is two sets of attacks that I, abilities that I need. And that's not even including, like, group vengeance and some of the healing prayers. Oh, this isn't good. I need to use that. Oh no. I need to start using some of these then, don't I? Boost some of this up. What else can you actually use? I need a shield then for that one. Come on, there's gotta be something I can use. Oh, I can use that one. Come on. Anyway, yeah, you, you can see the problem in the fact that oh, I've completely lost my track of thought. Blame Jagex. Is it? <laughs> I blame Jagex for everything. A few people always find out I always complain. But it's the first thing that comes to your head when something goes wrong. It's like, God damn it. To be fair, though, when I got those claws yesterday in the of Demons, I had lots to complain about. <laughs> Pretty sad luck. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about that. Let's get this phase down. Good fight. Switch to the range. Oh, this is so easy. Um, yeah, when I've got um, group vengeance and everything else to go on, and I've also got this mage, um, this HP um, ability here. Now you might not know what it does, but I'll explain. Regenerate. Now what it does is focus your remaining adrenaline to heal your wounds over six seconds. So basically, if you go out of combat, because obviously in engineering you're only in combat in GDs really. That's the only time your adrenaline will be going up, unless you're using abilities out of combat. Um, and personally, that's obviously going to be a very good one. It's going to give you free HP for when you leave combat. And that's going to be very helpful, in my opinion. And I think that's an awesome ability for dungeoneering. But by the time you've added all these miscellaneous things to your bar, you're just out of space. You really are out of space so badly. And this is going to be a complete waste to use unload, but I need it. May as well use it. If I swear, if I get a D chain on this bed, I am not be pleased. But Laureen so far, I got a KQ head finally on on my actual account, which is pretty awesome. I did a lot of KQing actually, and never had a D chain yet, which is quite surprising. I had a D chain which a long time ago, but that's before I started doing my um road to one build drop tab. So that was actually before I even started making vids. I got the D chain which so that's an awful long time ago. Well, to be fair, I'm making. Well, I think I started making vids in about February or so, something around February, so that, while that might not seem that long compared to a lot of people, God, that's flu. It's the seventh month, it's five months of making vids already, holy shit, man. Doesn't time fly? And the fact that I've done, like, daily vids almost every day during that time, that's it. I know on my channel I've got like 162 vids now, it's pretty awesome. And I'm really not sticking to the topic of this video at all, am I? I mean, I'm not sure what else I can say about dungeoneering, but I, I'm sure they'll keep things balanced. Now, one thing about the... I don't think I mentioned the fact that the Hex Hunter bow has an LP boost, which is pretty damn awesome. I need to keep my abilities up. Oh yes, you can just spam this one. Look at it. And he, it's cool that it's instant. I can just keep on using it. Is it that's the way to boost your um, bar out of combat. Holy shit. You can just spam that one. It's got no cooldown other than the global cooldown that you have to have. Um, yeah, but the Hex Hunter bow has LP boost. And, um... No, no I don't want to switch my mind a bit. And so does my primal plate. So obviously my current binds are Blood Necklace. Primal Plate, Hex Hunter Bow, and Primal 2H, I think I said Primal, I, I think I got them right there. Um, and obviously, being having an LP boost is going to be such a major factor now. So, obviously I've got my LP, LP boost from my Hex, as I've just mentioned, which gives about, oh, what the hell man? Attack the KQ. I thought I was attacking the KQ. 
Oh, well, clearly not. Um, obviously, I've got the L boost from my um, Hex, which is about 2.4k LP or 2.7k or something like that. And then my body is 3.5k. So that's quite a decent amount of LP, and the Hex has definitely got some bonuses for having it now. Because one of my issues is that the Hex Hunter bow is so good that because of the fact that it has an increase to hit damage on mages. However, your majority of damage is done with abilities now. And surely, regardless of whether you've got a Hex or a, a different bow, you're going to have that awesome hit potential with your abilities. Now, I'm actually going to just wield one of these so that I can stay in combat longer because I won't kill them as fast. And hopefully, I'll be able to keep my abilities up easier. Now, I'm just actually not going to use any abilities. I'm just going to poke them so I can stay in combat. Now, this actually works with God Wars. If you just don't kill the last minion, just poke the last minion. But then when it spawns, you've still got your ultimate and you can unleash it straight away. Yeah, I think that's maybe an issue, but I'm not sure whether that should be addressed. I think possibly on bosses, your um, bar should be, rather like in PvP, if you don't know, if you go in the wilderness and you attack a player, your bars instantly drain to zero, which is just to stop you from rushing people with an ultimate instantly. Now, I think this kind of should be on bosses too. Now, you might think, oh, that's going to slow it down, why would you want that? But it's just simply because I think it's overpowered the way that you can just, you're kind of cheating the system by doing what I'm doing now, by just, look, I'm just poking this. Um, I, thought I, would, I thought I withdrew that, clearly not. What a fail. But regardless, I know I can just spam this. The fact that I can just spam this and stay at ultimate level is... It's pretty dumb. Look at this, I can just stay at ultimate level. This spawns instantly. I'm staying at ultimate and I'm not in combat. See what I mean? This is bad. Um, but um, obviously in Digi, I've got a decent LP boost, and I find things can kill you pretty fast. Um, like when you're not, when you go in a room with quite a few monsters and you you can't protect from a lot of them, you really do get wound. I feel, and I think soloing GDs is going to be a bit more difficult. You've got the see one thing that is in DG is really useful. You've got a lot of multi-target abilities. Now you've got like stuff like Hurricane, which uses your two-handed weapon. And this is probably the one place in the game where you really are going to be using a two-handed weapon more so. There's not most places in, uh, elsewhere in the game you not really use it too much, I guess. But in DG, th generally the best weapon is Primal 2H, um, or any 2H that you can get. I imagine that is still the true factor, because I'm not really sure on the, the HP bonus Primal Kites have, but shields outside of um, DG aren't too good compared to bodies, etc. So I don't think it's really going to be um, such a benefit to have a shield. So I imagine two hand, two hundred weapons are still going to be good, especially with the fact that um, especially with the fact that the abilities are um, still pretty damn good on your two H's. I mean, you have some like obviously you've got abilities that are, on each part you've got um, ability for basic, ability for um, ability for basic. Why am I on about um, an ultimate for no specific weapon? no specific weapon holds and you've got ability for dual wielded weapons and an ultimate ability for two handed weapons now obviously the two handed ones are pretty strong and you've got some cool threshold ones like hurricane as well which help multiple targets and having the multiple target ones in DG is really going to speed up the GD so that's something that's definitely going to that's something that you've definitely got to use tactically there's a lot of more tactics to using your abilities in engineering um, compared to like PVM right here I'm just literally using my abilities as fast as you can because you run out of cooldowns eventually and you've got to wait for one to come back why wouldn't you use it straight away I mean the faster you use your abilities the faster you get your ultimates the more damage you're going to do and it's as simple as that so I kind of think the ability bar doesn't really help isn't really too tactical in PVM um, it's more so in PvP now to go into the bit uh, more uh, go into the combat rework more in itself I actually was with Simon the other day at Duel Arena just having some fun and honestly I really like it. I mean a lot, I know a lot of people don't like it at the minute. A lot of people are scared it's affecting prices so it's changing the game too much. As I mentioned before it's a beta. Just wait. They're going to change stuff. People are complaining about no um, single win in the, in the um, wilderness. They've already kind of said that they're going to change that. I mean <laughs> they said they're going to think about it etc and discuss it and get it all sorted. Come on, they're not stupid. They know the take into your feedback. A lot of people have mentioned that they want single way combat in the wilderness. They'd be stupid not to do it. I mean 
I doubt it's ever going to happen where they don't add something that people keep asking for. I mean, it's the point in the beta that that will get feedback at first. I mean, they've got a whole massive section of the forums dedicated to feedback. So, what else do more to say? They will be changing stuff if people don't like it. I mean, it's simple as that. Um, I can't believe this form's not down yet. I'm going to finish this guy. I think I'll end the video there, guys. And make sure you do post your topics and bosses for next week. I think from now on I will be doing all the bosses in the combat beta um, for live constant days. Now, I think that will make it a bit more interesting than just killing them as I normally do. Because it's going to be just... It's going to be nice to use some different tactics and etc. to just killing it the normal AFK easy way to compare to like what I normally do. So that'll be pretty awesome. Um, and hopefully I'll get some good topics to discuss next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I went off topic quite a lot. What's up for me and Chains? But I do apologise for that. But I hope you enjoyed my discussion of whatever I was actually discussing. I mean, I went off topic so many times I can't even remember what I discussed. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video.